Hey Pokemon Champions, it's Champion Blaze, and it's been quite some time since I've been on camera in front of you guys. I think it's actually been about a year since I've done the Wants to Battle tag last year. I think that was the last time I was on camera. And we'll talk a little bit more about that video in a later portion. But I wanted to come on camera today just to say thank you. Thank you for the love that you have shown this channel over the past year. Thank you for all the support, reaching out, the engagement, the comments, likes. Just thank you for watching the content because I think this has been the best year for the channel looking back. 2023 has seen the best work I've ever put out on the channel, starting early on in the year with many collabs, such as Ash Ketchum's worst decisions that he ever made with my buddy Champion Master Flame, moving to making a best team for Paul to use if he ever had a rematch against Pyramid King Brandon, making a best team for Ash to go up against Lance, which is a battle we totally should have gotten in the anime, even a remastered best team for Ash to use against Action Replay Boy Tobias, which you guys heavily requested since I made part one a couple years ago. And even my most recent collab with the best moments in X and Y, and that was just a great video to put out much longer than I thought it was going to be, but I enjoyed making every minute of it. So guys, just a massive, massive thank you to all of you that have been supporting the channel throughout this year, liking, subscribing, sharing the videos. Thank you so much. And in 2024, with it being right around the corner, less than 48 hours, I think at the time of making this video, better and bigger projects will be coming to the channel in 2024. A revamped banner, possibly a new intro, and there will be bigger projects. You might remember the Wants to Journeys tag I did a couple years ago. Well, there will be a successor to this video in 2024, probably broken up into uh, multiple videos to make a series because it's quite detailed to be honest, but the code name for it will be Project Monarch, and I cannot wait to unveil it. It is currently in scripting process, and a little bit of it has already been recorded, but I cannot wait to get it out. It's also going to serve as a collab as well between me and some of my friends as well and I cannot wait to show it off. There will also be more breakdown videos. We've already done Ash vs. Leon, although part four may not be out by the time you're watching this, but to start off with a four-part breakdown of one of the best battles in anime history was great. I think it was fun. You guys seem to love it, and I cannot wait to do more of that. And there will actually be an upcoming post where you can vote on the next breakdown that I do. So you guys will be able to choose the next battle that I break down. And on top of it, more best teams will be coming to the channel as well, such as the new teams for Paul to use against a couple characters that we've seen in the anime. Anime, and even more best teams for Ash as well. In 2024, we're gonna have new goals to hit, bigger and better projects, I'm gonna level up the editing, level up the channel, and I cannot wait for you guys to see the direction that the channel goes in. But also, I wanted to take the time in this video to talk about Birdkeeper Toby. He, as of December 30th, the day I'm recording this video, has said goodbye to the YouTube community, and I cannot think of a singular YouTuber that has inspired me more than Birdkeeper Toby. The premiere of his video to say goodbye and the fact that he's going to pursue different endeavors, different paths in life, I think that's great for him and he definitely should do that. But I want to take the time to say thank you Toby for inspiring me to make this channel but also to constantly pursue better videos to up my content to up my game he always motivates me to do better and i feel more motivated than ever between the success that i've had this year getting the channel monetized which thank you guys so much for that and i'll get into that in a bit but thank you guys so much and thank you toby for inspiring me to always do better he soars high and i aspire to soar just as high and i've actually got a project centered around toby coming in 2024 that i think you guys will definitely love and yeah, this year, this channel also got monetized back in October because I released What If I Was a Member of Team Sky. Go Team Sky! When I made that video, it was just a silly little idea I had that I didn't think would get the attention that it did. Just making my team of my favorite flying types, saying what their moves would be, and just explaining why I chose these Pokemon, but it was so well received that it got me the watch time and views necessary to get monetization on the channel. And I'm so incredibly thankful for that because now it means I'm one step closer, a big step closer, to being able to maybe do this as a job one day. And on top of that video, I'm very happy with other big projects I've done on the channel this year, such as what Pokemon should do next after Pokemon Journeys and even after Horizons, making new side series focused on different characters like Alan or Clement or even Sawyer. And that was just a big video that was meant to celebrate the anniversary of the Pokemon anime. But the one I made before that, the one talking about my vision 
for the Pokemon anime. I think that video was incredibly well made, and I'm very proud of it. I'm very proud of all the videos I put out this year. It's been my best work yet. So in 2024, we're definitely going to level up. So again, just wanted to get on camera today to say thank you, a massive thank you to all of you supporting my channel this year and the content I've been putting out. Bigger and better projects are to come in 2024. And until then, train hard, and I will see you guys in 2024.